my co-chair his excellency mr mohammad madum mohammad member election commission of sri lanka her excellency madam janet love vice chairperson electoral commission of south africa honorable chairpersons chief election commissioners commissioners distinguished delegates from participating embs and international organizations of aweb ifes international idea and cambridge conference on electoral democracy excellencies ambassadors high commissioners and other diplomats from various countries my colleague mr umesh sinha secretary general and head senior advisor india aweb center and my colleagues from election commission of india ladies and gentlemen it's been a very uh, fruitful day uh, as per the discussions are concerned we had some very impressive presentations in the morning from chief election commissioners of mauritius and bangladesh there was an interesting suggestion by mr kim from aweb secretariat regarding evaluation survey to measure the effectiveness of facilities for pwds and the elderly uh, th there were some equally informative presentations by election commissioner of bhutan and taiwan and uh, representatives from sri lanka philippines and cambodia my colleagues honorable chief election commissioner shri sushil kumar and honorable uh, election commissioner shri rajiv kumar in the previous two sessions brought out in high relief the steps taken by election commission of india in this regard friends as per the world bank report 1 billion persons or approximately 15% of world's population experiences one or the other form of disability as covid-19 continues to impact every aspect of human life persons with disabilities are uniquely impacted by the pandemic making them particularly vulnerable persons with disabilities face barriers to their wholesale participation in the electoral process the pandemic increased these existing barriers for them this requires that all the embs they should make more sustained efforts to engage and involve the pwds in the election process all of us here appreciate that there exists a gap in the participation of the pwds in elections across the world this is despite the fact that everywhere the federal laws ensure that persons with disabilities face no discrimination and are provided with all the facilities for their complete integration in all the spheres of the civic life these gaps arise due to various factors whether it be the inaccessible polling places or obstruction in the walkways or difficulties in reading the information material or communication barriers especially with polling staff uh, difficulties in reaching the polling stations difficulties relating to how to use polling equipment and inadequate signage leading to problems in negotiating the polling booths another factor that we need to understand is that factors impeding a blind voters ability to cast a ballot are different from those with uh, uh, concerning voters with locomotive or cognitive uh, disabilities <coughs> difficulties of a woman disabled voter and her need for assistance varies from that of a male dis disabled voter embs have made different efforts to address these issues through alternate alternative voting methods like postal boat, uh, voting or mobile voting options technology options assistance of volunteers wheelchairs built in priority voting systems for the elderly and the disabled voters disability inclusion is not only a fundamental human right 
but also it is central to the promise of the 2030 agenda on sustainable development to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Accessible elections was declared as a theme for year 2018. Over the years, Election Commission of India has undertaken various initiatives like postal ballot facility, braille epic, transportation to and from the polling station, exhaustive mapping of the PWD voters, assured minimum facilities, as well as a comprehensive nationwide multimedia campaign to ensure that the mandate of the election commission, that is no voter to be left behind, is fulfilled in letter and spirit. Similarly, the role of senior citizens who have championed the cause of democracy in our country by regularly voting in every election is a cause of celebration. Uh, technology has been a game changer in election management. Various technical interventions have ensured a much more seamless access to electoral services for PWDs. More than 7 million PWD voters have been mapped so far, a remarkable increase of more than 15% from the last Lok Sabha elections. Since the pandemic, we have extended postal ballot facility to senior citizens above 80 years of age, PWD and COVID-19 positive and suspect voters and also voters under home quarantine and institutional quarantine. Detailed protocols have been devised and implemented to distribute forms to senior citizens at their homes and get them collected within five days. In conclusion, I would say that we are continuously striving to ensure that the elections are more accessible. Thank you.